Why does everyone hate me? You have been too successful for this club, Gary. You need to change your playing style. The fans just do not like your adventurous, attacking play. But Mr. Gartside, no it is not good enough. When I appointed you, you promised me you would get rid of our best players and get us relegated. I got rid of Kevin Nolan and Adam Bogdan had a lone spell with crew. I'm only one man. If the fans knew what we were doing, they would be very unhappy. I don't care. It is about time we were placed in Tier 2 of the Premier League and replaced by a good team, for example Carlisle. I agree Carlisle are a talented squad and they are pleasing on the eye. They would fit in well with other footballing sides. Take Blackburn and Stoke as models of such success. I have been watching your recent acquisition, Lee Chong Young recently. He is good and he will be great. We should sell him quickly to make a marginal profit, perhaps to one of our closest rivals. Those kind of suggestions are why people hate me. Even the other day I heard Gavin McCann calling me behind my back. He even continued, when I turned around, the players also do not respect me. I feel Gavin McCann should be in your first 11. He is the kind of player who will ensure relegation, but Mr. Gartside, he is a poor player. His passing is sloppy, his tackles are clumsy and often mistimed, and even Fabrice Muamba hits the target more than him in training. He will do well for the club. As long as we are making a profit I'm happy. It has also come to my attention that attendances are dwindling this year across the country, but strangely they are up at the Reebok. That is very discouraging. I have been trying to put people off for years by hiring subpar managers and employing an unattractive playing style. You are obviously doing something wrong Gary. I have done everything you suggested, I bring all 11 players back when we are defending set pieces, ensuring we have no chance to hit the opposition on the break. I play at least two holding midfielders in the hope that we can keep a clean sheet and I even tell the fans how poor they are on a weekly basis, what else am I supposed to do, we need a change, what about a change in set piece taker. Our set-piece routines have stagnated of late, and the opposition have realized our attacking threat that needs to change. I do not have any ideas on how to rectify the situation. I truly am an unworthy manager. Do not put yourself down, Gary. There are 20,000 people to do that for you once every two weeks and a few hundred at away games. Anyway, back to the topic at hand. We need to change set-piece takers. I know. You could put Andy O'Brien on set pieces, he seems a very useful and unpredictable player. Why didn't I think of this? I thought that Matthew Taylor could do a job, but I was wrong. If Andy O'Brien were to take our set pieces, he could add the craft and the cutting edge to ensure we maintain our mid-table mediocrity. You truly are a great tactician, Mr. Gartside. I am. Andy O'Brien's crosses are second to none. Their unpredictability and variation in height, length, and pace will surely confuse opposition defenses and allow us to punish weak marking from set pieces. Yes, we will work on that in training. Good. Now the next thing I need to discuss with you is the number of homegrown players in our squad. There are too many. What do you suggest we do? We will sell some of them, namely Taylor, Davies, Davies, Davies and Gardner, but he is Jamaican. You are right, but because of a loophole in the rules, he is granted homegrown status because of the lengthy time he has been with the club. Okay well he can leave. We need to sign more unknown foreign players, whose names we cannot pronounce, and whose families will accompany them over, opening local takeaways, and corner shops. This will annoy the people of Bolton as well as the football fans of the town. What a triumph ha 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 ha, you truly have thought of everything. Are there any other issues you would like to raise with me in this meeting on St. Peter's Way? Yes, I would like to congratulate you on your continuous use of Zat Knight. When he was signed I thought, oh no he may be a good player if he receives the correct guidance and coaching. Fortunately he is being coached by Steve Wigley, so the issue has been resolved. Well done Gary, yes that was one of my better moves. His tackles and tactical play are both laughable. Ha ha, now I understand why there was so much laughter and so many hurtful remarks when I was on the phone to Matt and Roneal. He has taken me for a ride. Well at least we have J. Lloyd Samuel. That was a good piece of business, I disagree. Paul Robinson was a much better choice of left back. 
His work ethic is second to none, and his passion shines through. It is just a shame for him and the fans that a standard of play is so embarrassingly low. If he wasn't giving away so many goals and contributing to our average season I may even feel sorry for him. I'm very pleased though. Soon Bolton will be relegated and I can move to a more financially viable alternative, but anyway keep up the good work Gary we are back on track, thank I now. Now we are back to our customary position in the bottom half of the table we can concentrate on earning more money. Did you know that we have a very profitable hotel? I and my partner Eddie Davies have invested heavily in the hotel with the profits made by the club, but Mr. Gartside the club needs funds for the January transfer window. We have a very small squad. My lack of tactical nose has put the club in a difficult position, and I want to try and correct my mistakes. I feel that, if I can do that, the fans may begin to give me the support they gave me in our humiliating defeat to Chelsea in the Carling Cup. Ha 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 that is a very good joke. I enjoyed the result against Chelsea. I saw many positives from the game, including the performance of their third-choice goalkeeper Ross Turnbull. He made our strikers look average, Johan Elmond looked tired and angry with himself, and Greta Steenson filled in very well on the right wing. I think we should sign Ross Turnbull. I have had many letters from fans encouraging me to sign him. The fans you are right want him, and so we will not sign him. I was frightened something like this may happen. The fans seem to warm to you against Chelsea, so we had to lose heavily against Chelsea and Aston Villa to annoy the fans even more. Phew I'm very glad. Well done Gary I will speak to you soon. This has been a very productive conversation. It has. Now I will go home, where your daughter is coming over as my wife is away. You stay away from her. I have already fired Sam Allardyce for doing, for meeting my daughter. You do not want to end up the same way. He left and went to an inbred town to manage. You may do the same. I hear Roberto Martinez is in some trouble. Ha 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 ha